Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today I'm going to showcase J Phoenix and some of the main mechanics and uses of it. And just shortly, J Phoenix is an open source Java library that uses Java components, and more or less, it's a JavaFX implementation that allows us to add some better looking buttons and stuff pretty quickly. So I downloaded it from J Phoenix GitHub, link in the description, kind of the introduction project which demonstrates more or less most of the use of jphoenix so if you want to have a look at this well just go to the github and download that project but i will just run it and go through some of the main components so this is the project they build using java and jphoenix which is kind of similar to javafx and it is pretty good looking as you can see and they demonstrate most of the utilities you can use in JPhoenix. So I'm just going to go through them quite quickly and just demonstrate and showcase why I think this is a pretty cool library. So first we have these buttons that looks a bit more modern compared to just basic JavaFX. And of course we can change the colors, we can edit, set them disabled and have them flat kind of like invisible backgrounds or raised. We have some checkboxes. We have some combo boxes, which looks quite a bit better than the normal JavaFX ones. And we're able to pretty easily add some uh, images. We have some editable ones where we can change the result afterwards. Some dialogues and alerts, which I think is pretty cool, which allow us to have these kind of like pop ups from the bottom, top, right, left, or like an alert, which looks pretty good and they're actually quite easy to implement. They add some fun, awesome icons, which is quite nice because fun, awesome. And some of these other animation animated icons can be quite annoying, so I have to get into JavaFX. And this makes it quite a bit easier. And we have this batch icon as well. Pretty cool. We're able to have like a scroller where we hide top bar, as you would see at most modern websites nowadays as well. When we scroll, we kind of have the top part disappear. Have some list views. Can be greedy, expanded, collapsed. Have some tables, some progress bars, radio buttons, sliders, and definitely some way better animations than just normal JavaFX. Do at this list looks pretty cool. Spinners, which is Definitely a bit more advanced than normal JavaFX. Text fields, which I think is quite nice. They're just like underlining. Highlighter. Quite nice. buttons as you can see a lot of stuff and some toggle icons which is also quite nifty feature these pop-ups which are also very cool we have our typical date pickers which looks way more modern than the JavaFX ones and a custom color which is also this is so much better. Like, look at this. It's actually, it's actually pretty cool. As well. We have these icons. So as you can see, we have quite a few pretty cool things. 
So this is kind of like the, the basic components of Java with JFernix, which as you can see, gives us a huge amount of opportunities to create some pretty cool pro programs and projects. I have been using JFernix for quite a few projects for now, and it definitely makes it quite a bit easier to get some projects that looks a bit better. And that's always a plus in my book. So, if you enjoyed this walkthrough of all the basic components in JFernix, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.